We had our first freeze of the season overnight and more to come this week. Eyewitness News reporter Thomas Battle spoke with a local garden center about how business has been with the lingering warm weather and how you can prepare your garden for the cold to come. Fall started slowly this year with temperatures sluggish to drop and leaves waiting longer to change. We definitely are seeing a late, a late frost, so that makes the flowers bloom a lot longer and we had a fantastic spring, so um, we're seeing a lot more color out in the garden center. More color and more customers. We have seen a lot of new customers, people who, like I said, have, have passed by us before and never had the opportunity to stop in. We've seen a lot of families. With the warm weather this year on top of the pandemic, Joanne says that they have seen both new and returning customers in higher numbers. I will tell you that last year, one of our sales representatives said that their surveys said that there were 200 million new gardeners in America in, in 2020. Um, a lot of those were, were growing their own food. So that's obviously impacted our business in general and just the entire industry. Gardening doesn't have to stop just because it's getting cold. We're constantly educating our customers on you really can plant in the fall. It's a great time actually to get things in the ground. So as the leaves begin to fall, don't forget you still have time to plant and groom your garden. People are hesitant to cut back everything that's still green, um, but this is the time to get your your plants cut back and um, so that they're a good size and manageable for next year. In Luzerne County, Thomas Battle, 2822 Eyewitness News. After the overnight freeze and more freezing temperatures expected in the coming days, Joanne says to either bring in any sensitive plants you have or to cover them with burlap.